Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, could you please uh, tell me whether you see me, whether you hear me well? Is everything OK? Do we have any lags? Mm -hmm. OK, I see a lot of messages, like everything is fine. <laughs> cool. Uh, so uh, before we start, uh, I would like to propose you to go uh, to a live streaming uh, channel in uh, Discord if you are already registered there because uh, uh, it will be kind of uh, <laughs> not so easy for me to take a look at uh, two places simultaneously. So. Uh, you can ask your questions there. I will try to take a look at uh, chat uh, on YouTube time up to time, but uh, it's okay. But it would be better to ask your questions there, just in case. Okay, so you see uh, very first slide of our presentation, uh, and we will begin soon. If everything is fine, we can probably start. So, uh, hello again. I'm glad to uh, welcome you to the introductory stream uh, of the Node.js course uh, from RS School. Uh, and today I want to tell you about Ronin Scopes, RS School, and uh, of course, uh, Node.js course. Uh, but first of all, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Maxim Shilov. Uh, I work uh, at IPAM on uh, position senior software engineer and I participate in various activities of uh, RS School. Since uh, 2020 I am not just course uh, coordinator, also I am one of the core developers of uh, RS App, our learning management system that you will use during the course, uh, co-organizer and contributor to JS Dev Day event and also take part in RS School AW AWS Club sessions. Sorry. Um, Let's talk about the Rolling Scopes and our school. Uh, maybe not all of you are familiar with this yet. So uh, Rolling Scopes is an international community of developers which we started in 2013. And for last uh, 10 years uh, in our community, uh, we are mostly in, we were mostly talking about JavaScript, front end, mobile development. But no, but now we also uh, have uh, a lot of meetings and talks about AWS and how to become a full stack developer. Um, we started our community in Minsk, Belarus with uh, offline events uh, and uh, it was only beginning because today we have our regular events in more than 11 countries. By the way, in this year we just uh, celebrated our 10 years anniversary and uh, <laughs> it's uh, kind of very cool. Uh, please applause, <laughs> please like this video. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, but it's uh, really quite impressive. Uh, let's talk about what we uh, think our mission is. When we just uh, started, we didn't have uh, any like um, specific mission. We just wanted to connect uh, with our friends, uh, connect uh, to other engineers. We invited people from different companies uh, in Minsk uh, to have uh, some regular events uh, like uh, meetups, workshops, uh, some hackathons, and just uh, to have fun together. Uh, it's uh, a school, it's a place when we can find new friends, meet with other people, learn together, uh, and uh, so on. Over the 10 years, we had over 100 meetups at the moment. And as I mentioned, uh, it was in different cities, in countries, it was uh, in various formats as well. And we attended uh, several conferences in Madrid and in Paris, uh, which inspired us to organize our own conferences. In total, nine of them uh, took place. Uh, the largest one was in Minsk in uh, 2019, uh, where we gathered about uh, like 1,500 people for three days. 
Now I would like to talk about the biggest project of our uh, Rolling Scopes community. It's, uh, of course, RS School. What is RS School? RS School is free of charge community courses uh, which are conducted by members of our community because uh, RS School is a community school. <clears throat> And uh, of course, uh, a school it's uh, not a physical school, and of course, we don't have any physical building <laughs> because courses are online. We have what do we have? Uh, we have just uh, people who can join online to our courses, and all these people united uh, by uh, our traditions that we have in our school and. Uh, I will share them uh, with you later. We mostly use uh, Discord server as main communication point. Uh, since a lot of our contributors from different companies and countries, uh, we choose GitHub as the main platform where we keep uh, all our education programs and uh, educational materials. And with all these people, we develop together our platform, which we use to run our courses. Also, we maintain uh, several YouTube channels. Uh, one of them is uh, in Russian and one of them is in English. You are on the second one <laughs> and uh, all videos related to the course will be on this channel. Uh, on YouTube channel we store our lectures, webinars, uh, streams, records, Q&A sessions and so on. So please uh, subscribe and join us, of course. Uh, if uh, we are talking about principles of our school, the first one, and uh, by the way, the most important, is to teach it forward. According to this principle, all our students uh, study at school for free. Uh, but then uh, we ask them, we do not request, uh, we don't have any like uh, contracts, uh, official documents, etc. We just ask you uh, if you studied uh, at our school and you succeeded, uh, you obtain uh, new knowledges, you maybe uh, have new work in IT, uh, please uh, go back to school as a mentor or maybe as a speaker or teacher, trainer and uh, help us to study the new generation of students. It will be very cool and we highly appreciate, appreciate that. Another important principle is uh, that we support open source uh, philosophy. Uh, I hope that you are familiar with this uh, and uh, it's uh, really important for our community to keep uh, everything on open source, mostly on GitHub, as I mentioned, uh, in order to provide uh, like uh, ways to collaborate, uh, to fork, uh, for example, you can fork some educational program and reuse it uh, the way you want. Maybe you will develop your fork separately. Maybe you can uh, uh, add some materials, fix some uh, errors uh, in program, etc. So uh, it's uh, how our contributors want to do that. Uh, they want it to be in open source. And uh, I already mentioned that we have uh, our own learning platform. It's uh, also open source tool as well. And uh, if you are front-end uh, or back-end developer with Node.js, you can join our community and uh, contribute to open source. It's a uh, it's really nice uh, thing for your portfolio and for getting classes in Karma, of course. Uh, and uh, our learning platform is named RS App. Uh, let's talk about how people involve in our school. Majority of people starts uh, as uh, students. Uh, yeah, majority of people starts as students. Uh, they join some course. Uh, and because our courses are quite long, most of them um, take from two or three up to six or seven months and uh, during this time we push students to help uh, each other and people who actively help others uh, we uh, promote them to new role we call it rs activist and uh, this is uh, core of our community it's uh, people who help us uh, to prepare new tasks uh, who 
like uh, support uh, our students and the learning process who managed to fix a lot of issues related to educational projects and uh, basically these people who later become become our greatest contributors trainers speakers and uh, so on uh, most of them were uh, rs activists at some uh, point of time and then like uh, around uh, 10 percent of our people they graduate from the course successfully and as i mentioned uh, because of our principal teach it forward we invite them to help us to teach new wave of students this is how our school works uh, how we can manage to conduct this educational process over 10 years uh, what courses uh, do we have at rs school we mostly focusing on javascript and typescript stack react angular but this year we introduced new aws uh, courses uh, and if we will find more contributors we will maybe manage to provide more courses on aws uh, for example right now we have uh, two courses for uh, cloud essentials and uh, aws cloud developer and uh, we are preparing course for devops based uh, on aws cloud as well uh, regarding statistics uh, for last year we had students from 11 countries and uh, over 600 of people were involved in our educational pro process even more than 600 of people and uh, thanks again for these uh, efforts uh, all of them for their volunteering and their support it's really very important for us uh, let's talk about uh, one uh, recent activity of rs school as I mentioned right now, we are mostly focusing on AWS Club. It's a part of our community where we uh, are together with uh, Amazon employees. Uh, I mean, uh, Amazon from AWS, Amazon architects, uh, Amazon dev advocates, uh, learn about AWS, new services and best practices, how to build uh, services, how to build applications using AWS services, how to do it uh properly how to make them reliable how to make them uh, working as you wish and uh, so on uh, also we create uh, uh, start and build uh, local user groups for example we build a user group in tashkent uh, and user group in astana almaty uh, gdansk uh, etc so maybe if you don't have your own user group in your city you can join us join our community or join our collaboration with uh, amazon and start this group it's uh, really beneficial and amazon provides support for community builders uh, for example uh, of uh, this kind of benefits uh, you can have uh, 500 bucks for your amazon account and you can spend it on building your application and services and uh, as i mentioned we created uh, two online courses uh, to prepare students for aws certification aws fundamentals and aws cloud developer course which uh, started recently so a uh, very important question uh, okay i will uh, i will make a pause uh, to check whether we are okay share this link in chat too lazy to type <laughs> yeah all links uh, will be shared with you uh, could you please tell me uh, whether you still uh, hear me well uh, because i don't see chat is everything fine with uh, streaming uh-huh Okay, it would be very sad if, <laughs> you know, if I uh, would uh, uh, tell you everything and you don't hear anything. Okay, cool. So, I will continue in this case. Very important question. How to join our courses or AWS Club? Uh, we have a website, uh, namely rs.school. You can see a link uh, on your screen. Uh, where you can find information about our courses uh, and uh, we have discord of aws club 
uh, again, you can see a link on your screen. It's a link with invite. You will be able to uh, join uh, this uh, server if you will follow this link. Of course, if you are registered uh, in Discord. I will also share them with you after the stream. Um, okay, let's move on. And of course, we are here for introduction to Node.js course. So let's talk about it. Uh, so what RS School provides? We offer course program, course tasks, course checks, uh, online streams, uh, Q&A sessions, uh, if uh, they are necessary. Uh, we keep a uh, learning program up to date. We are constantly reviewing it. Uh, we support and improve our learning management system RS app. We drive learning process and support uh, communications uh, channels for you. Uh, for example, Discord server. It's uh, really helpful and uh, I think uh, you will find it convenient as well. One more important thing is that education at RS school is uh, practice oriented and we follow uh, 17, 20, 10 learning model where only about 10% uh, of knowledge is given in like uh, solid form and 20% uh, uh, sorry uh, yes 20% uh, of knowledge is related to interaction with uh, community uh, for example uh, with interaction uh, with other students in uh, discord uh, and uh, most of the learning is uh, self-study with really a lot of practice because it's the most important part. You have to try to do it again and again and again and more and more and you will finally succeed. Uh, it's very important to have not only theory but uh, spend really a lot of time on practice and uh, do it on your own. Uh, all communication and announcements, all changes in assignments, course, program, schedule, etc. It all can be found on Discord. So again, if you didn't join uh, Discord, please uh, follow the link that you can see on your screen. Yeah, and uh, you can see their uh, category Node.js uh, uh, 2023 Q2 and you will have uh, announcements channel there uh, and uh, all uh, recent news can be found there uh, also you should read uh, uh, channel of frequently asked questions uh, in discord there you will find a lot of useful information for example how to change your nickname how to add uh, your github id to your nickname uh, where you should uh, ask your questions. Uh, what are the purpose? Uh, what is the purpose of uh, uh, all those uh, different channels? Because you can see there is a lot of them. Uh, and there will be more because we will have a separated channel for all course tasks. Maybe uh, we will create some new channels on demand. So uh, you can find the uh, necessary information in uh, channel frequently asked questions anyway. Um, what do we study in the course? In the course, we study topics uh, that we uh, consider necessary for mastering of the basics of backend development using Node.js. Uh, you can see them on the screen. So uh, we learn uh, Node.js uh, fundamentals. Uh, we learn how to use uh, core Node.js APIs. Uh, we learn approaches uh, for testing Node.js applications. We learn how to uh, build REST services, how to use GraphQL. Uh, we learn databases basic. Specifically, we learn uh, SQL basics and Postgres. Uh, also, we learn uh, how to uh, containerize your application uh, and containerization basics with Docker. Also, we learn approaches for logging and error handling in Node.js applications and the popular backend framework Nest.js. Uh, in scope of learning basics of Node.js, we cover uh, following topics. Uh, we learn how to install Node.js and manage its versions, uh, how to work with uh, 
commonly used uh, APIs, you can see them on the screen, uh, like uh, file system, streams, uh, how model systems in Node.js works, uh, timers, uh, command line interface, uh, scaling uh, using child processes, worker threads, um, operation system model, Zlib, crypto, and uh, so on. Uh, of course, uh, Node.js has uh, a lot of uh, modules, uh, it has uh, a lot of uh, different APIs, but we cover the most uh, widely used ones. Also, we study how event loops work, event loop uh, works in Node.js, what is blocking versus no blocking input output, and there are also two practical tasks for this topic. In the first one, uh, you will study APIs like in isolation, and uh, in the second one, you apply acquired knowledge uh, to create a console Node.js application called uh, File Manager. Uh, in the scope of network communication topic, we learn the following. We learn the basics of network communications, how to build web server using Node.js API, uh, specifically we use uh, HTTP model, uh, how to test uh, uh, REST APIs, REST basics, uh, uh, web sockets and GraphQL basics. Also, there are three tasks for this topic. In the first task, uh, you build uh, simple HTTP API using pure Node.js because of course uh, you will uh, create uh, your services using some like uh, uh, frameworks uh, like uh, Nest.js or libraries uh, like Express and Core and so on. There are also uh, other different uh, frameworks and libraries but uh, anyway uh, you have to know how it works uh, underneath, uh, how it works under the hood. It's very important because uh, if you will not uh, know this, uh, there will be uh, like a lot of magic, uh, magic for you <laughs> in how it works and you will not understand some core concepts. Uh, also, in the second task, you will work with WebSockets on server side using uh, Sockets.io library with already implemented front end. We updated this task and you will have a really beautiful front end there. And uh, in the third task, you will learn GraphQL and uh, its differences from REST, uh, which problems it solves uh, and uh, how to use it with uh, Apollo client. And in scope of studying Nest.js, we cover the following. Nest.js basics, how to build Nest.js uh, REST API. Uh, by the way, containerization that I already mentioned, we learn uh, how to containerize uh, Nest.js application using Docker. Uh, we also learn how login and error handling works in Nest.js application and we'll try to build some like uh, custom login and error handler in order to understand it better. Also, in scope of building Nest.js service, we uh, learn SQL basics, uh, Postgres, we will connect uh, uh, Postgres database to our service. Uh, also, we learn uh, how to implement authentication and authorization with uh, JSON Web Tokens. Uh, and there is also a practical assignment for this topic. Uh, it's named uh, Home Library Service. It consists of uh, three parts with gradual improvement. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, what's about course task? Uh, course is divided into two halves. In the first half, you can see it on the screen. Uh, it, it's not called half, it's called uh, part, but still. Uh, tasks are independent of each other and can and should be done separately in uh, separated repositories and they are independent uh, of each other. And in the second half, we implement Nest.js REST service with gradual improvement. Uh, firstly, we create a basic service with in-memory database. Then we connect real database to it and we apply other improvement, uh, which I already mentioned. Authentication and authorization, error handling, containerization, login, etc. Uh, and... Uh, this task is uh, the, this task in the second half. They are not separated. Uh, you should uh, build your next task on top of a previous solution. Uh, now on the screen you can see some useful links. Uh, 
to the repository with a course program. As I mentioned, we store our learning materials on GitHub. Uh, this repository contains your practical tasks for the course and of course uh, to the YouTube channel uh, where uh, you will see videos with uh, task issuances, uh, solution reviews, uh, Q&A sessions and so on. Um, you can, I will share all the links with you later, you can uh, check uh, those repositories uh, uh, on your own or maybe we will take a look at them at the end of the stream. Uh, let's briefly discuss the key aspects of the learning process. Uh, first of all, uh, all main tasks are issued in weekly frames. It takes uh, one or two weeks. Uh, tasks uh, timeline starts on Tuesdays. Uh, deadline and your first task uh, will begin from uh, tomorrow, from Tuesday as well. Uh, deadline for submission of solution is Monday evening um, before uh, midnight, uh, midnight of uh, Tuesday in UTC uh, time zone. Uh, after submission deadline, cross check begins uh, and it lasts until Sunday evening. And the uh, approximate time that you need to spend on uh, training, on learning, is about uh, 20 hours uh, per week. Uh, it's uh, like very approximate uh, time because uh, perhaps uh, personally you may need more or less. It depends on your background, uh, on how fast uh, do you learn, uh, on uh, like moon phases, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it really differs, but approximately uh, 20 hours per week should be enough. Okay. And there are a few rules uh, that uh, if you will break them, you can be expelled uh, from the course. First of all, of course, uh, for cheating. Uh, most often we are talking about copying someone else's code. Uh, we periodically check for... Uh, cheating uh, students' works uh, and uh, expel those who cheated. So, please uh, solve the course task by yourself uh, and uh, expel may happen at any moment of the course. For example, uh, you can be expelled uh, at the end of the course for cheating on first or second task. Uh, you can... Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, a lot of... Uh, uh, already implemented uh, solutions for course tasks because many students uh, passed course. Uh, we have a lot of uh, ready-made uh, generic solutions that you can reuse in your own implementation. It's okay to reuse the idea. It's okay to take a look at uh, uh, some external sources to check uh, how it's implemented in different places, but you shouldn't copy-paste. You can reuse idea, but you shouldn't steal code. Uh, second uh, point, uh, it's inappropriate behavior, like uh, uh, more, more generic, it's about violation of uh, code of conduct. You can check it out uh, by yourself. But uh, it's about inappropriate behavior like uh, harassment, discrimination, NSFW content, uh, uh, and so on. And uh, this is what we deem uh, really unacceptable. So please uh, remain uh, polite and friendly. It's very uh, important for us to have uh, friendly and uh, safe atmosphere here. It's uh, very good for learning process uh, and uh, everyone should feel uh, convenient here. And uh, you can be expelled for prolonged uh, lack of activity on the course. For example, if you didn't submit some assignment in a row. In case you were expelled uh, under this reason, we can restore you on the course uh, if you wish, because uh, uh, this uh, expel reason is only for just uh, like uh, keeping uh, course stats up to date. Uh, to not, uh, in order not to have uh, a lot of people who don't study, but... Uh, they are counted as a course student. Uh, as I said earlier, we use RSAP for driving learning process and uh, 
it contains a lot of uh, stuff, but uh, you have uh, most useful pages uh, for you as uh, course students. It's a student's dashboard, it's a score, schedule, cross-check submit and cross-check review. Uh, the student's dashboard page contains um, a review of your progress in the course. It's like uh, every everything what is most most important in one place. Uh, here you can see your position uh, and the total number of positions, uh, your tasks, statistics, uh, your available tasks. Uh, you have your total score and so on. Uh, you can briefly check uh, uh, some necessary stuff here. Uh, on the score page, you can see a list of students. Uh, they are ranked by rating, uh, their overall score. You can, hear, you can see it here in uh, column total. Uh, and uh, uh, individual assignment score. So you can see what, how much uh, do you get for every task of the course. Uh, there is one uh, uh, detail, uh, remember that the score is updated once a day, uh, you have a disclaimer that reminds you about it uh, here, but uh, your score is not updated immediately, so please be prepared for this. Uh, schedule page, the name of the schedule page speaks for itself, it's a course schedule. Uh, there you can find uh, deadlines for course tasks, tests, uh, course events, like uh, this uh, course intro, you can see it here. Uh, they are split into categories depending on uh, timeline or, and uh, on status. Uh, status depends on uh, uh, how you manage them. For example, uh, you have uh, task not just basics, it's in future status on this screenshot because uh, submission uh, timeline will start from tomorrow. Uh, when you will uh, submit uh, your solution, uh, then it will become available. If you will submit your solution, you will receive some uh, students' uh, works for review and it will appear in review as well. Uh, if you didn't, didn't submit it, it, it will be missed and it could be done finally after passing of uh, all the deadlines. Uh, it's uh, quite useful that we have uh, everything in one place. And of course, uh, schedule may change. It's, uh, we may decide to like prolong deadline or to reorder task, etc. So uh, you should uh, check it uh, periodically and uh, uh, see whether something is changed. Uh, tasks uh, timeline most likely will not change uh, during uh, the completion of the task, but it may change before task uh, issues. Anyway, all um, important announcements, uh, they will be in uh, Discord channel announcements, as I already mentioned. Uh, we already mentioned cross-check. Many of you are familiar with this from other courses, but anyway, uh, let's talk about it in more details, uh, because uh, we don't have uh, personal mentors on Node.js course uh, who would check students' uh, assignments and grade them. Uh, the students uh, of uh, this course uh, check each other's works. Uh, each student checks uh, the work of uh, three or four other students, uh, it may be less or more, uh, from uh, 1 to 8, if I remember correctly, and uh, accordingly, uh, three or four other students, they check uh, his or her work. So, the task is graded as an average. And cross-check uh, consists of two parts. First of all is cross-check submit, when you submit your solution for review, and cross-check review when you review solution of other students. You will be provided with a link to their solution uh, and uh, uh, everything is very convenient, uh, but uh, it's uh, very important to, uh, to successfully and in time uh, perform cross-check submit and cross-check review. Because uh, in order to get a score for the task, you must submit your work for review 
on time and check the work of other students. If you don't do any of this, for example, you submitted your solution for review, but you didn't check uh, all uh, students' works, or maybe you received three uh, solutions and you, you have reviewed uh, two of them. Uh, in this case, uh, you won't get a score for the task, uh, your score will be zero. So it's very important, uh, please uh, don't forget about this. Uh, also, one important note about deadlines, because uh, all students of our course, they, are st they study together in one program, and we also have, uh, like, um, uh, we have cross-check, we have uh, time-dependent and uh, collaborative workflow for checking assignments, and therefore, unfortunately, we cannot individually change uh, tasks, deadlines for submit and review. So, please... And it's very important. I would kindly ask you to not forget about this. Uh, please try to do everything on time and do not leave it to the last moment. If you if you are not sure, uh, you you better do it earlier. Uh, but you will not miss the, the deadline anyway. Uh, let's talk about uh, your first assignment, which is not just basics. It's an assignment that will allow you to learn uh, commonly used uh, NOS.js APIs. On the screen, you can see links to the program modules uh, you need and practical assignment. Um, you can ask uh, questions about this assignment in the corresponding channel of uh, Discord. Its name is task one, not JS basics. It's Pretty easy, but you have one week for this uh, in order to uh, familiar familiarize yourself with Node.js API without haste. That's mainly it from my side. And uh, congratulations on the start of the course. I wish you success in your studies. Uh, we will meet again. Uh, in a week for your first assignment review. And if you have any questions, I will ask them. Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay, we have a couple of questions in YouTube channel. Um, I will scroll up. Uh, guys, uh, unfortunately, uh, this course is uh, in English, so we have uh, some people that uh, are not familiar with uh, Russian, and uh, I will kindly ask you to keep all communication uh, in English as well, uh, in order to make your messages available for all course participants. Pam, pam, pam. Mm -hmm. uh, what about server sent events and similar kind of communication? Uh, we will not cover server sent events. Uh, uh, we will cover only HTTP uh, communication, WebSockets, and uh, GraphQL. Mm. Sorry for the bothering. You can describe all. This is a little bit slower. Uh, you will have a record of this stream and you will uh, be able to take a look at this again. Everything is recorded, so don't worry. You will uh, be able to check it uh, at your own uh, uh, pace. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know JavaScript, but no Java. Uh, sorry, unfortunately, this uh, course is... Uh, in JavaScript, and it's nice to know uh, TypeScript basics as well. Can we use ChatGPT for helping? So first of all, <laughs> how we begin? Uh, you know, uh, ChatGPT is... Uh, okay, probably it would be nice if I would share the screen. Um, um, <laughs> okay. Speaking about uh, ChatGPT, uh, it's only my 
opinion. Uh, you know, artificial intelligence uh, tools are very important. Uh, it's uh, cool to know this kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, I would uh, advise you not to use ChatGPT for this course because it's uh, pretty basic uh, and uh, you can miss uh, some uh, uh, benefits of uh, learning it on your own. So, maybe it's better not to use it. Uh, for this course. Um, <laughs> okay. Next question. Uh, I may be missed, but can you please repeat process one more time? Uh, sorry. Uh, homework process. You can find information about this uh, in uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, you can see all the flow. How to complete the task. Here is the process and uh, there are seven steps uh, on how to uh, submit your homework and so on. Um, <laughs> is the course duration two or three months? Its duration is about uh, nine weeks or maybe ten. Uh, it will depend on uh, how fast will we move. Uh, and uh, uh, schedule is not uh, up to date at the moment. I will fix it later. I, I mean, uh, first uh, two or three weeks are okay. Uh, next uh, uh, next timelines will be adjusted. It's available job offer or laboratory after this course. At the moment, uh, not really. But we, if we will uh, have some information about this, I will provide it with you later. Hello, it was a great lecture. Can you tell me, please, uh, where exactly I can find theory material in order to do assignment? Uh, you can find it uh, in course program. I will share all the links with you later as a follow-up of the stream. Will we have interview? Uh, unfortunately, no, nope, because uh, we don't have enough mentors, as I mentioned, and we will not have uh, interview on this course. How should we check others' code? It will be done uh, during... Uh, uh, cross-check review, you will be provided with uh, uh, criteria for check. Uh, um, by the way, I can share it with you. Uh, you have assignments repository and for each assignment you have uh, assignment itself, which contains information uh, about how to uh, complete the task, what is expected to be done in scope of this task, and you have separated uh, markdown uh, file with uh, information on how to uh, how to grade this task. For example, for task file manager, we have basic scope. We got uh, plus six uh, points for uh, this functionality that application accepts the username and prints proper message. We uh, have uh, plus uh, 10 uh, points for some uh, other parts, etc. We have uh, forfeits uh, as well if we use any external tools and libraries and for commits after deadline. Uh, your grade uh, can be decreased. But uh, you will uh, grade uh, other students according to this criteria. Um, pam, 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 pam. Can I use TypeScript while doing homework? Uh, you will be using TypeScript starting from a uh, third task, but for first two, it's expected for, from you to use JavaScript because uh, it's very important to understand, uh, again, as I mentioned, uh, what's going on under the hood of TypeScript because uh, TypeScript is uh, uh, transpiled to JavaScript as well and it's very important uh, to know JavaScript, not only TypeScript. It's uh, like necessary basics. Do we learn in AWS on this course? Nope. Uh, I just mentioned that we have AWS courses as well and uh, we have uh, AWS related activities, but we don't learn AWS on this course. It's a separated course. ChatGPT gives you too much deprecated info. Um, time up to time, yes, but it's not the main problem um, related to ChatGPT. How long will the entire course take uh, nine or ten weeks and tutor have to validate uh, from chat gpt did it come from you <laughs> uh, unfortunately we can't validate uh, what is the source uh, of your code your brain or chat gpt but chat gpt uh, you know it has uh, 
uh, it has one uh, feature that uh, for similar questions it often gives uh, different people similar code and uh, you may be uh, considered to be cheater if you will have uh, the same code as other students so if you will decide to use it uh, please use it carefully uh, even your words are in English, but they sound Russian. Of course, because I am not a native speaker, and uh, uh, yes, I have uh, this accent. Uh, what your opinion about front-end masters Node.js course? As there might be some implementation for the RS course. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with front-end masters, uh, so mm, I don't really know. Can say anything? Sorry. Uh, can you show again where to watch homework and how to turn it in? Uh, I will share information with you in the follow-up message in announcements channel. How we can start? About first step or link or learning platform. You should uh, register in uh, Discord, or sorry, you should register in uh, GitHub and you will be able to uh, log in in RS School. And after that, you will be able to submit uh, your link with solution in cross-check submit but it's not open submission is not opened yet it will start from tomorrow uh, it's okay to reuse your own code from uh, last course iteration hope that's not cheating uh, reusing your own code it's not cheating but uh, anyway uh, you know uh, it's a good uh, chance for you to try something new or try to implement stuff differently to learn additional stuff so maybe you shouldn't like blindly reuse your code from previous iteration and where to take lectures and the first task on the schedule uh, on the course uh, program unfortunately we don't have lectures in english but we have uh, links to the learning materials in english as well and as i mentioned we expect from you to uh, take a look at learning materials on your own uh, so uh, you can find information uh, on your own. There is a lot of uh, useful info on course topics. Can we finish this course on our pace or will the task be published according to your timeline? Uh, you can finish this course uh, on your pace, but uh, you probably will not be able to have your homework checked by other students or obtain a score for this. So yes, everything is an open source. Uh, you can even not register in uh, RS app. You can not use platform. You can just uh, solve tasks, but uh, you will miss a part of uh, communication and scoring from other students. What about frameworks? This course will cover any of them. As I mentioned, we will cover NestJS basics. Should I create fork from the repository to provide my task? Uh, for some repositories, you uh, expect to create fork. For example, uh, for your very first assignment, uh, it's expected from you to uh, fork uh, repository with a uh, template. It contains uh, empty uh, files in which uh, you write your solution. <coughs> But you don't have to uh, fork a repository with task or with course program because uh, it's uh, common, uh, it's uh, up to date all the time. So it would be better to take a look at a source repository. Um, pam, 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 pam. Private public repository. Uh, we expect from you to have. Uh, uh, private repository where when it's possible but you are not able to create private repositories from forks so uh, solution is to push your local uh, code to uh, your remote repository uh, near to the deadline is this course for beginners yes we expect from you uh, to know basics of uh, uh, JavaScript uh, of, of web development. Uh, we expect that you are familiar with JavaScript. You have good uh, knowledge of core JavaScript. You are familiar with TypeScript uh, version control, namely Git and GitHub. And uh, you have time for this course. Is this is everything you need? Uh, does it mean that we have to finish first? No. Uh, you have to finish your first task uh, till the next Monday, uh, but. It will you will be able to submit your solution from tomorrow. Can we ask help from Discord guys? Yes, you can ask questions in Discord. 
The submission first task starts tomorrow, but the line is one week. Uh, yes, submission uh, starts uh, tomorrow and the line is uh, next Monday. Can I expect helper functions to model for dry? Ah, yes, of course. You can extract the helper functions, you can reuse code. I would kindly ask you not to delete uh, or not to change names of uh, files that you already have. But it's a good approach to extract uh, reusable stuff uh, to additional models. Uh, what do we get grades by cross-check method? Uh -huh. Which knowledge? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, let's probably... Let's probably uh, let's probably check what's about requirements. Uh, we have requirements at the course program. Uh, as I mentioned, good knowledge of JavaScript, basic knowledge of Git and GitHub, basic knowledge of TypeScript, basic knowledge of computer science, and be able to spend at least uh, 20 hours per week for study. We have information about prerequisites here. Um, <laughs> um, can we copy our own code that we wrote? I already answered this question. Uh, would multi-tier applications be covered? I mean, not only crude or simple scenarios. Uh, you know, uh, home library uh, service... Uh, is quite uh, more tricky than uh, multi than just a simple crude, but uh, it's still uh, it's still just a simple REST service. We will not uh, cover some um, some like sophisticated applications. Dino, we don't use Dino, but we have a lecture in Russian in some uh, on some past iterations of the course. What if I don't know TypeScript? Uh, you have some time uh, to learn basics of it. Uh, you don't have to uh, know advanced uh, types stuff. Uh, you don't have to know complicated things. Just uh, TypeScript basics like what is types, uh, how to uh, set up TypeScript, how to what how it differs from JavaScript, etc. Uh, it's possible to pass the course by yourself. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, it's possible because the uh, program is an open source. Yes. If you finish this course, this, will they be hired at IPAM? Uh, unfortunately, uh, nope, uh, because uh, it's uh, not uh, IPAM course and we don't offer any like job opportunities. Uh, is 20 hours really enough? Uh, should be enough. Should be enough. If you have uh, necessary knowledge for beginning of the course, uh, 20 hours should be enough. Can I see all my deadlines anywhere? Yes, you can see it uh, on schedule page, as I already mentioned. <laughs> can I survive without TypeScript? Uh, uh, yes, you will be able to survive, but I highly advise you to start learning it. Uh, where do we submit assignment solution? You submit it on cross-check submit. Uh, Extra dependencies, module bundler, um, not for first tasks. You have uh, explicitly mentioned for fate here for using uh, for using external libraries. We expect uh, that you uh, solve this task without any external tools. So please uh, don't uh, install anything. Don't add it to package JSON. <laughs> Will we use Express? Nope, we use it. Uh, we used uh, it on previous iterations of the course, but now we switched uh, to Nest.js as it more popular, more useful, more uh, let's say powerful than Express because Express is a simple library, while Nest.js is a framework with uh, a lot of uh, useful stuff out of the box. Will we use interfaces in this course? Uh, yes, we can use interfaces in this course and types as well. Fast API, we don't use it. Okay, let's take a look at live streaming channel. Pam, 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 pam. Um, <laughs> yes, I will share links with you. 
No mentors, yes, unfortunately, no mentors. We don't have enough uh, people to mentor personally on this course. This is it. Uh, Node.js is uh, last... Uh, uh, it appears uh, less frequent than uh, front-end uh, development uh, among, among mentors. So, it is correct that we meet once a week and the other time we have for self-studying. Yes, and for practice. Once a week, I will review yours. I or other people, we have other mentors and contributors for some task. Once a week, you will have review of solution for previous week and issues of next task. Could you please share presentation? Nope. Unfortunately, nope. You have only this video. I got the link for task, but is there educational material? As I mentioned, we have educational materials uh, in uh, course program repository. For example, we have uh, first uh, week modules, Node.js installation and configuration. If we open the module, you have theory uh, section uh, and uh, there you will have links uh, to what you should uh, take a look. As I mentioned, we have lectures, but unfortunately it's only in Russian, uh, but we have uh, links to learning materials in English as well. It's uh, in the course program and everything you can find by your own. Um, pom, 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 pom. Okay. What should we use CGS or ECMAScript modules? Uh, we expect from you to know both uh, module systems. You will have uh, even separated task, separated mini task uh, for mastering this uh, in first assignment. But uh, uh, for solving first assignment, uh, we prefer you to use uh, ECMAScript modules. And where to take lectures and the first task? On the schedule uh, on the course program. Uh, I already answered these questions. Yes, as Vadim mentioned, uh, TESS uh, starts in task uh, 4 as mandatory stuff and in task 3 as uh, stuff uh, with uh, uh, extra score points. Will you talk about clean architecture? Um, you know, this course is more for beginners, so uh, we do not cover some advanced topic or how to... Uh, how to build proper architecture is uh, like about more simple things. In module not just basics, there is theory in RU. Would it be updated in English? Unfortunately, no. We don't have uh, capacity to rewrite this lecture in English. Sorry. Should task be prepared as separated pull request? Yes. And third task should be in separated repositories. Yes, yes, everything is right. You are correct. So, I can see, will we use AWS? I already answered these questions. Will we have offline meetups? Uh, we don't have offline meetups because uh, we are split uh, all across the world, but uh, you can... Uh, uh, you can uh, find some people from your location and have online meetup, uh, or you can uh, uh, go somewhere, have beer, jazz, etc. It's very cool and nice, uh, but uh, we don't have like official offline meetups. We have uh, only online stuff at this course. Okay, that's probably it. As I already mentioned, I wish you the best. Uh, good luck and. Uh, be humble and uh, succeed uh, in the course, uh, uh, in the learning on the course. See you in a week. Have a nice, have a nice day. Bye.